I'm Lena Primus, Junior World Nine Ball Champion. of Pocketed, the YouTube channel. My name is Norbert and this is Lena. And Lena is the current Junior World Nine Ball Champion and I'm super excited for having her. <laughs> Lena, what are we going to see in this video? I'm going to show you my most favorite drill. And stay tuned because in the second part of the video we are also going to show you her least favorite drill. Lena, the reason why we met today in your beautiful training room is that you show us a little bit about your training regime, how you practice for big tournaments and how you prepare for big matches. Yeah, and Lena is our junior world championship. How did it feel just potting the final ball, knowing that everybody is watching you and you finally made it? It was just incredible. So also days after it, I couldn't believe it. It was something I never would have expected. Um, I never dared to dream of it because yeah, it was. It felt like it was so unreachable. But it was just amazing. Uh, Lena, you've played some tournaments this year already. Tell us a little bit about how these tournaments went and what are the next tournaments on your schedule? So far this year I played the European Championships um, in women's division. This was interesting for me. I couldn't perform my best. Um, I was kind of nervous. I thought I have to perform, yeah, because I was world champion and stuff like that. And maybe it puts a lot of pressure on me. The next tournament was um, the Women's um, Las Vegas Open. This was so incredible. It was the first time for me being in, in the US. Uh, so, Did you have some chance to have a sneak peek in the proper pool scene in the US as well? Yeah, of course. I mean, the pool scene in the US is just so different than the pool scene here in Europe. It feels like everybody there knows that pool is a sport that somebody could do professional. And it's just so much bigger to scene there. I mean, there were 300 tables or something like that in this hotel. So um, yeah, 5,000 players, something like that. My goal is to do pool professional one day, so I'm, I'm preparing for that. <laughs> Would you be keen to show us a little bit how you practice and how you prepare for tournaments? Of course, I would be happy to do that. Let's go on the table. <laughs> As mentioned, Lena is going to show us her favorite drill. And this one looks very, very familiar to me. And I think it's the Mighty X drill, correct? Yes, exactly. I guess a lot of people know it. I think it's a drill where it's about long shots and playing various shots on the object ball, correct? Or can you tell us and the viewers out there how this drill works? Of course. So I'm starting out with stop shots and then moving on to draw shots and at last follow shots. And how long do you play this Mighty X drill? Um, is there a time frame which is a desired one, like five minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes? How long do you play this drill? Like, let's say, how long do you practice the stop shot part of it? I would say approximately 10 minutes, um, but it depends because when I'm not feeling comfortable with my um, stroke or my shots, uh, then I'm, I'm doing it longer. Would you be up for it to show us how this drill looks like? Of course, I would love that. So now I'm going to show you the sequence of the Mighty X drill and how I play it. So I'm going to start with the stop shot. First focus on your pre-shot routine and of course your stance. Once you're feeling comfortable, you can go down to the ball and focus that you really hit the cue ball right in the center, not with any spin. And then when you're feeling comfortable, you can shoot. Then you can move on to the second stop shot. A 
as you could see, these two step shots were almost perfect. Uh, of course, this isn't always like that in my practice, but this is the reason why I'm practicing it. I really want it to be perfect as often as possible. Once these two balls are buttered, I'm just taking out, out these two. And I'm moving to the side of the table, and now I'm going to play the completely same thing into the other direction. And that's my most favorite exercise, the Mighty X Drill. The reason why I like it so much is because it really helps me to improve my stroke and also my confidence. And as promised, Lena is also going to show us her least favorite drill. Lena, this is it, correct? Yes, exactly. What is this drill all about? I guess, I guess it's the drill I already played myself. So you have the cue ball here and it's about long shots and potting these balls, right? Yeah, exactly. So I have it from Jasmine Ocean. She uploaded it on her Insta profile. Um, you basically just have to shoot um, straight uh, shots. Um, but the cue ball is frozen to the rail. And uh, if you make a mistake at any ball, uh, so you start with the first one and move on to the next one once you have made that. If you make a mistake, you have to start all over again. That's what makes it really hard. Yeah, that's frustrating. And uh, so once you put uh, the cue ball, uh, once you pot the 10 ball, you always can put the cue ball back on the short rail and then you move on to the next ball. Yes, and the cue ball always has to be frozen to the rail. Uh, that's a pretty tough one. I tried this drill and I will link it up here where you can see me playing this drill, but of course not the pro version, just the version for the hobby players. And it really, really was super frustrating to me. Were you able to pull this drill off completely already? No, not yet. Um, so I think I messed it up at the 10th um, ball, something like that. Um, so it's really frustrating when you're practicing it for hours, but it doesn't work. Even though I don't really like this drill, it still helps me to um, cope with my frustration and in a match you will always become frust frustrated at one point or the other. Um, and for that it's, it's really useful if you practice that and not have to handle it with it in the match. So now we are going to talk about the most important learnings of the training regime with Lena. Um, oh, Lena, you are down here. Yes, seriously. <laughs> now we adjusted the height, so it's better to talk to each other. Now that we've seen how Lena is practicing, the most important takeaway for me is, uh, the most important thing I recognized is that you guys, you professionals and semi-professional folks, you work on your fundamentals. Is this your main goal? Yes, that's right. So the fundamentals are really the, ma the most important thing. And from that point, you can work on all these other things. Mm. Out of 100% of your practice time, in percentage, how much time do you spend on working on your fundamentals? How much time do you spend on working on playing drills, for example? And how much time do you spend on actually playing games? I would say it's really... Uh, between 30 and 40 percent just fundamentals and technique and uh, then yeah around 30 percent also um, drills uh, position drills and then the rest is really focusing on matches and what are you practicing for right now what is the next uh, big upcoming tournament for you so the next uh, tournament is the European Championships, youth. It's in about um, one week, so very close. Um, now these are the last days for me to work and practice. So thanks so much, Lena, for taking your time, for spending time with me. I wish you all the best for the upcoming Youth European Championships. And for you out there, please follow Lena on Instagram and on her social media. I think we all can learn a lot from her. And I really hope that you're going to be super successful. Thank you so much. It was a lot of fun. I really want to thank my partners, which are Predator, Fiscal Trust, Sporthilfe, Café Bollands, and my new sponsor, RD3, so RD3. Because without them, it would really not be possible for me to follow my passion of becoming a professional pool player. So, thank you all. Thanks so much for watching this video and see you in the next one.